the Yoga channel of Aerial Yoga Magic and More. And I'm super excited about today's video. I will go to show you how to prepare your brand new silk at home, how to hang it, that you can fly away as a fairy. Okay, let's get serious. First of all, if you order the Aerial Yoga Silk slash hammock uh, from my KamiYoga.com shop, let's see what you get. So, first of all, let's get open it. Okay, so there you go. I'm just in full display of a silk set. And let's get started. So first of all, the most important thing is the precious silk. Oh, I love this color, it's so bright and summerish. Anyway, so about the silk, it's very high quality nylon tricot, uh, and it's 2.8 meters wide, that you can lay down freely and relax in it, in cocoon. And it's uh, 4.6 meters long, so it's pretty long and it's enough to, for you to practice aerial yoga freely. Of course, there are different lengths, you can find it truly if you want to practice more of actual aerial dance. So, but common length is about 5 meters. And uh, what else? So, of course, the herbiness, they can be in different shapes, but most importantly, they would be strong. And then the rescue loops, slings. So the sling is going around the silk on the ends to wrap it around and uh, make it firm. And in the last one thing that we're using is daisy chains, as you see those loopy loops. So they are like prolonging your silk if you need it, or just it's um, easier to change the height of the silk especially if you have more family members who like to practice aerial yoga from kids to the grown-ups so it's just faster and it's way easier to hang your silk somewhere else like you can just wrap around your tree trunk uh, tree branch and it's just hook it up and that's it so i will show you it more clearly later on so uh, what else do you need to know uh, okay, so our silk sets are coming in full package like what you saw, what is included. You might see some videos that they wrapping the silk into the knot around the carabiner. Well, you can do that, but I find it uh, better to keep your silk safe and uh, to, that it make it lifelong usage. It's better when you use the rescue loops. And it's way easier just to change it and it's safer, I can say, because my old students and in my studio, it's also uh, rigged like that. So I think we're good to go to start wrapping our brand new silk. So first of all, let's spread it out because it's quite a lot of fabric. Okay. So, finally I found the edges. What is really important for you when you're starting to wrapping around the ends is to find which edge is the right edge. Because uh, the silk is quite wide on both ends. So, we're wrapping around the end which is very stretchy. And the hard one, the harder, not stretchy side, is supposed to be left on. This is your height. Of the silk. Okay, so let's start wrapping around. So what is important, of course you can just grab the silk like this and wrap it, but look at it. It's not even and if it's, uh, the ends are not even, imagine when the silk is uh, like a loop, one of the ends will be higher than the lower and when you put your legs, the one leg is up, the other is so that's why it's important that you would carefully with detail put your silk like in as we call it little rows like a flower so we're taking our silk by the edge and just putting like folding the silk into our palm and just make it that the edges more or less would be in the same line so just wrapping And 
there you go. This is our little rose, little flower. So it's more or less even. Just if it's teeny tiny out, it's okay. But more or less, it's folded. It's more uh, comfortable when it has folded lines when it spreads out. Just out of experience, we tried out with a knot, and it's not so even and not so nice to spread it out in the wide uh, silk poses. Okay, so when we have this, we slide down, and it depends how high are you still gonna be. Like how high is your ceiling or the beam if you're putting on a beam. So we are approximately, as you see in the studio here, we are leaving about 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters hanging off the top, plus minus, you know. Uh, but it really depends where, how high it will be. So let's say, let's take about 30 centimeters left off. And then we are finding our rescue loop or sometimes called sling. Taking your rescue loop and leaving one end like 10 centimeters approximately and uh, bring your rescue loop just under your sill where you're holding it tightly and then uh, wrapping around one time, in total will be two, full circle around the sill, second time and then the third one is going through that 10 centimeter loop through and you're gonna just put it tightly, activating. Yeah, so just stretch it to opposite sides. So then one end is ready to be hooked on the carabiner. So let's take carabiner, sling is through it, and there. So now the carabiner is ready to be uh, hooked into the either daisy chain one of the like daisy chain through the sorry through the loopies little loops if you imagine if i'm my arm is uh, either a tree branch or the beam so we're just going through and hooking it here um, or if for example you have installed uh, a screw with a ring and so you will put it straight into the ring so I will uh, sh later on show you the, what's the difference and stuff. But now, so we prepared one end. Let's do the same thing with the other end. Okay, so there you go, we have both ends ready to be hooked into the daisy chains or if you have a, a screw with a loop, the ring, then you, we can just loop in. Now, what important is to know, and you might even notice, some of the studios or in the videos, you might see that people hook uh, just into one um, it went into one kind of ring. Uh, it is possible to do that, but it's better and more co uh, like comfortable to practice aerial yoga when there are two ends, like two points of the silk. And uh, because when it's on one, first of all, it's not as safe. Imagine if something happens, you will uh, both of the ends will just drop instead of maybe one. Okay, so this is worst case scenario, but it's way safer when you have two points of the, of the silk hanging and also there are some poses that you want to stand into the silk. So if the silk is going in one point, you're kind of wrapped into the silk. So it's not so comfortable and so it's more free to express yourself into the practice when we have two points which are approximately uh, shoulder width. So 34 centimeters is ideal to practice M. Because if it's too wide, it's again not so good. 
Okay, so let's get up and hook our silk. Okay, so let's rig our silk. I can't wait to try out my brand new pink ganache. Yes, yes, I know I meant that that word, as I like to do so. Anyway, let's get back to our business. So, as you see in my studio, uh, there are beams and it is the easiest way how to hang your silk. You just drop your daisy chain over and flexing with a daisy, uh, with a, sorry, with carabiner through the loops. Because these daisy chains are about a meter. And uh, you can also just, let me show you here closer. Uh, if it's, this is too short for you, then you can just, as it, you will see in my, in here in the studio, just loop it through and that. So it gets the whole length and then you hook it whatever you want into. Or sometimes maybe it's enough just to bring it both car uh, one carbonet through the two loops. So whichever, like it depends on the height of the seal. So let's go up. So that easier way when we're dropping daisy chains around and then I'm hooking one of the ends into the daisy chain loop and the other end there. And there my silk is hanging. What is left importantly to do is check our height. As you see, mm -mm, it's too long. What, where it's supposed to be the right height? It's supposed to be your hips width and where the hip bones are sticking out. So it should be in this height. So let's fix it up. So as you see, I can't go more up, plus I won't reach it. So what, how can else you can adjust your height of the silk, the length? So you just lift it through the air and then again, fix it. So pulling it down on both ends. And the other side, let's say. If you still want to keep the length of the silk, what else can you do? Is actually, as you see, the rescue loop is still on, you can make it shorter. So just wrapping third time around. Then the fourth loop will be uh, in the 10 center, 10 meter end. So now it's way shorter. And the silk is now ideal. Of course, you, can, you should do it both ends, but it would be equally wrapped around. If it's three loops around the silk, and three both ends, if four, then four. And then you're just pushing it out and it should be just where your hip bones are. So this is the correct height, not on your tiptoes, heels down and silk by your hips. And now I'm going to show you how to set your silk when you don't have the beans, but you're installing your silk by screwing the bolts with rings into the ceiling. So now let's go to back to my home. Okay, so now we're back at home and let's check it out how it will look if you will need to screw uh, with a bolt in into the ceiling. So if you look up, you see I already have two uh, bolts with a ring on the end. They are about like um, 16 centimeters long and uh, 10 millimeters, like one centimeter uh, width. So if you have the daisy chain, you just loop it through and as I said, you can either leave it like that if you don't need that much height, uh, I mean length, into your silk. But if your ceiling is even higher than this, then you just go through the big loop and slide it through, as it was in my studio, as you saw, and you can hook it here. But since I don't need that much length, I just leave it here. And it's also, it's also good to have the daisy chain even if your ceiling is not that high because if I put straight away the carabiner into the ring, that's what happens. 
yeah, so that sound is terrible, and especially if you're doing shavasana, like relaxing in the young pose, like a kun, it's terrible. So it's better just to have these daisy chains. Plus, as I said, you can just uh, have them and going outside in the nature and hooking and wrapping around the branch or something like that. So in here, you have those inside the um, ceiling. So of course, under this board, there's like a beam, uh, some other structure. Uh, my structure is a wooden beam, but of course it can be also concrete. So you need to know what is uh, above your ceiling, if it's a wooden beam, so you will need some like screw in with that, like mine, and the ring, or if it's concrete over, then you need like um, a bolt with it, as we call it, umbrella sticking out, uh, and of course also the ring or the very close up hook like that. So, and then you having your daisy chains in, you're putting your carabiners, and uh, there you go. So, the silk can be like that with the hooks in. But as I said before, with the just putting over the beam or a branch is way easier because you don't need to, you know, screw in and mess around with your silk. Okay, let's go back to the studio. Okay, so when you uh, adjust your height of the silk, before you actually enter the silk, still push it down with your weight down just a little bit, bring it down with your, with your own body weight, and then the rescue loops would stick into the silk, actually wrap it firmly. And you see, I pushed it down and it went uh, a little bit under my hips, so I need to adjust this one more time. And after you do that, you don't need to do it anytime soon. Yes, so now it's perfect. And let's try it out. So, <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> so fun. So it's done and just fly away in your silk, enjoy your practice. Uh, you can also uh, find full length classes uh, back in my playlist of aerial yoga one hour classes or also short ones for the trips and stuff like that. So if you're planning to order from us, uh, our silks are high quality, I was searching for the correct silk. A uh, like long time and I finally found it. So seven years ago I found my silk bar place and uh, we playing around and flying around with my students. So this silk is in very high quality density and I sold a lot of silks to the studios and my students and everybody's super happy. Me too. I'm so excited about new colors and stuff. So you can find all information on kamiyoga.com or the links down below in the description. We have everything prepared for you in one package. You can also find the bolts into the concrete or bolts like screws into the wood, uh, into the wood ceiling, how to prepare it. So everything is on that website. And uh, the silks have many colors, more than you can see in here. And they're very durable, uh, easy to care for. You can wash them in the washing machine at 30 degrees and even mix them together. The color is staying the same all the time, all year long, all the years long. It's, uh, so it's already like four years old and looking still bright as ever, still sunny through. And thank you for watching this video. Hope it was useful for you. Just uh, if you have any still questions about the silk stuff, just drop the comment below or just reach out to me through other uh, websites or email. So please subscribe to my channel uh, for other aerial yoga magic and see you soon guys. Bye. Namaste.